Okay, guys, so let's take a look at the Cold Steel SRK. So I do want to kind of start this off with the fact that there's been a few other knives in the uh, recent acquisition list that have kind of taken precedence over this knife, such as the Battle Lore and the Tracker, but don't think that this knife slipped my mind or slipped the list of things that need attention. This little guy right here is the SRK by Cold Steel, and it is made out of SK5. This is the SK5 high carbon steel version, my personal favorite. So this little guy right here came in at a grand total of $40, and that is the primary reason why this is on the review table, or review f floor of the woods today. So let's jump into it. Okay guys, so this what, the reason why I have to dig into this knife today is because this is one of the most affordable, best entries into bushcraft and survival in general that you can get to this day. For a whopping $40, you can get this awesome blade with a pretty good sheath as a secure X sheath, and it overall is such a performer. Now, I will say it does, the biggest drawback for me is the fact that it does lack a little bit of refinement, especially in comparison to, you know, something like this Battle Horse Knives Battle Lore. But for being the fact that it is only $40 or maybe $41, depending on how Amazon's prices fluctuate, this knife is an incredible bargain, especially when you consider how durable it is and how, how well it does perform for its price. So starting off, this knife is a really great survival knife. If you're looking for something to either throw in a pack or really start your training with survival, you'd be hard pressed to go wrong with this knife. It's very durable. It's going to throw, it's going to take whatever you throw at it, whether it's batoning, you know, just peeling the bark off of some dead slimy piece of wood, or, you know, whether you're trying to uh, start fire, strike the back of it with a ferro rod. It's going to work well in all of those circumstances. In addition to that, it's also very low maintenance knife because it has a good coating here on the blade and it also has a handle that is just over molded on the steel so very low maintenance knife and a knife that you won't really have to concern yourself too much about on the upkeep aside from keeping the blade sharp because this is sk5 high carbon so it has a very similar performance to 1095 so that means you know the blade will go dull it will bend it will you know, need some attention. However, the nice thing about 1095 and SK5 is the fact that it is very easy to mend and correct when it does go awry. So aside from that, uh, the pros that I really do like about it is I love the price point. I love the uh, blade steel on this knife. The SK5 is a great blade steel to learn on. And I love the fact of the handle. It's extremely grippy. It has miles of traction wherever you're holding it in whatever grip. But the thing is, it has a lot of traction, but it's not uncomfortable either. There's no pinch point. There's no sharp edges on this. You know, there's no pin sticking out of the handle to rub you the wrong way. Everything on this handle is just very comfortable. The other thing I like about over-molded uh, handles, like I say this a lot because I'm in Alaska, is that in the middle of the winter these are some of the best knives to have because there's no cold ice cold you know tang of blades sticking out anywhere you know there's no metal pin sticking out on the side or you know metal screws there or metal screws to touch or anything like that you know this is a very comfortable knife and it's always going to stay relatively warm in your hand it's never going to get as cold as steel however so. i do have it configured a little bit differently uh, i'll roll in a picture i'll roll in a picture of how the sheath normally looks it does normally have a belt loop with a little clasp up here but the thing I like about this sheath is it is modular, so you can see I threw a couple belt loops on it, and I'm actually currently wearing it scout style, or not, not wearing it at the moment, but I have it set up to be rigged up scout style, which is a preferred method of carry for me. I really like scout style, so the thing I like about this sheath is it also has versatility to it. You can also strap things to it if you wanted to add more survival equipment to your sheath. It has miles of versatility which is very much appreciated once again for like a $40 knife that isn't too shabby so overall 
Uh, this is one of the knives that I really wanted to make a video on because I spent a lot of time on this channel. I spent a lot of time on this channel, once again, talking about, you know, two, three, four hundred dollar knives like this Battle Lore by Battle Horse Knives. And it's just not always very realistic or attainable for many of you guys to go out there and spend that much money on a survival or bushcrafting knife. Whereas the SRK is a really great way to enter the field without dropping a lot of money. And it's one of those knives that if you get this thing, you can use it for years and years and years. And you're not going to be disappointed. And it's not going to fail you. It's not going to let you down. Uh, the only thing I do have to caution people about is the tip is a little bit thin because of the way they chose to do a clip point or yeah, clip point on this blade. So do be semi careful of the tip. In my personal experience, I haven't really been that scared of it. I do have a Bark River Knives Aurora, which has a far more delicate tip than this knife. However, I've seen some other guys in some other reviews in other places talking about how they did snap the tip on their knife. You know, not significantly, but you know, snap, you know, a good quarter to half inch off the tip. And I can certainly see how that would happen due to the fact of this tip is rather thin and very unsupported. So, you know, do be cautious of that. But aside from that, this knife is an overall fantastic blade, and I kind of feel bad about not getting around to it sooner, because I've had it for about a couple months and I've been sitting on it, but um, I've just been really busy with other, you know, knives and other tasks, so I, this knife hasn't necessarily escaped me, and I really wanted to uh, do some talking about it, because it is a fantastic knife, and... Like I said, if you're looking for a good survival and beginning bushcrafting knife, this is a really good and a really solid place to start off. So anyways, guys, that is the Cold Steel SRK. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully... Uh, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully... This is, encourages you guys to go pick up an SRK. I really do recommend them. Even if you aren't necessarily new to bushcrafting, they're still a really fun blade to take out because, once again, for people like me, it's such a cheap knife that if it gets, you know, whatever happens to it or if it gets lost, potentially it's not a really big loss to me because, you know, I can go buy, like, five more of these knives for the price of, like, one of these battle wars. So, you know, it's, it's a really fun knife. So definitely check it out regardless to whether you're a beginner in bushcraft or more experienced. It's a really nice knife to give a shot. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.